Justin Young here, and I'm excited to announce the release of the Nexus IQ Visual Studio extension. Visual Studio has a special place in my heart as I started my career out as a .NET developer. Um, I went away and worked for Sonatype for a few years, and it's great to see the vibrant open source community come uh, into the .NET ecosystem. Um, with the help of NuGet and NPM, it seems like uh, .NET and, and Microsoft Visual Studio is saturated with open source. So I'd like to give a little demo. I've created a brand new web application here. And if I go over to Nexus IQ, I can configure it by selecting an application. Um, applications are usually one per one to solutions or products. Um, so in this case, our brand new web application is associated with a Nexus IQ application. I can now see all of the open source components in my web application. And it, uh, as we were talking about, it's great to see all the Microsoft namespaces here, um, all the assemblies that Microsoft has provided open source through NuGet um, and available in a blank template. So the curation is great um, here, and everything passes our default policies with flying colors. So out of the box, there's nothing to worry about from a, a security or, or license perspective. As such, I'm going to add a new component to this to show some of the value that you get from the Next IQ extension. So I did a little research, and we have um, iText Sharp here, which is a component. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I can tell you that when I install it, it's going to show up in the Nexus IQ panel, and it is going to have a violation. So here, now that I've installed iText Sharp, it's available in my list, and I can actually see that um, there is a license risk throughout all versions of iText Sharp. It has a high policy thread. It's uh, AGPL, which is not the most permissive license. I can actually open it up and, and find a little more about it. Band is a license threat group that we provide in our default policy, and since AGPL is not permissive, um, it's in there. So I'm going to take iText Sharp out and give another example. Um, so we probably don't want this anymore. And let's add Knockout. Now, um, Knockout's an MVVM library for JavaScript. I can go back here, and I can see now it's available. I can store it and bring it to the top. But Knockout JS actually comes in with a high security threat. So I can view details about it, um, cross-site scripting. Uh, even though it only affects older browsers, I still want to be safe. And I can see that 3.4.1 is um, actually free of this particular uh, security issue. So back in my manager, I can jump back to 3.4.1, install it, downgrade. And now going back to the next IQ. I can see I am now passing. Everything looks pretty good. So there's a lot of things we can do with the extension um, in Visual Studio. Uh, we looked at the version graph, the details. There's uh, transitive dependencies, to direct dependencies. You kind of can have an idea of wh where your dependencies are being brought into your application. Um, so I'm really excited for everyone to get a hands on it. And uh, yeah, have at it. Thank you very much.